discovery perspective and classification perspective, how far up do you think asset management goes in the food chain? Because, you, you know, it's interesting, you know, when you start looking at the configuration of it, you, you're, you're kind of leaning into configuration management. Um, you're kind of leaning into vulnerability management. You know, is that part of the problem as well? Is that asset management either borders on or is integral to those fields? Asset discovery, asset inventory, 100% borders on to vulnerability management and, you know, I wouldn't say configuration management, but at least, at least you know, discovery of risky settings. Right. right. Which, is, which is, to some extent, configuration management. That's what I'm saying. There's some blurry lines here. That's true, what I'm true. Trying to, yes. Yeah. yeah. It is definitely adjacent. It is definitely adjacent. And you know, so oftentimes what you'll find is folks are using vulnerability management tools to double as their asset discovery, asset inventory tool, mm -hmm. or they're using a um, discovery tool for a CMDB also as their uh, asset inventory, uh, asset discovery tool, which, you know, as I mentioned before, we're using a lot of older tools that maybe were good back in the day when all of our devices were in the corporate office. They were just laptops and, and desktops that were issued by IT. but with this divergence of environments, this proliferation of devices to many, many different uh, parts of your network, which is not just the office anymore, you know, those tools have, have been coming up short, uh, both in terms of comprehensiveness as well as accuracy of data.